Moises Caicedo has officially handed in a transfer request and reports suggest that not only did he want Arsenal, some claiming that personal terms on a five-year deal have also been agreed. Mikel Arteta has responded to the transfer request publicly. The Athletic claim that this is a big target of Arsenal now. And of course, Chelsea are still massively involved in this deal. Both clubs want Caicedo. He wants the move. We all know he's got those nine, ten siblings that need to eat. This this new story took a massive, massive U-turn in recent hours. We want your views. We want your opinions as we delve into this in more detail. But oh, seemingly leading that race now for Moises Caicedo. Hit the like and share button. Let's do this. This story is a massive one. We're going to delve into it. Before we do that, I want your comments below, like buttons, as I say, but also make sure you're following us on my TikTok account. Scan that QR code or follow and click on the link in the description below. But Caicedo was issued. He has issued a transfer request. I'm going to read out his statement here. He says that I am grateful to Mr. Bloom and Brighton for giving me the chance to come to the Premier League. And I feel I have always done my best for them. And I've always played with a smile, with a smile and with heart. I am the youngest of 10 siblings from a poor upbringing. I'm in Ecuador. My dream always was to become the most decorated player in the history of Ecuador. I am proud to be able to bring a record transfer fee for Brighton, which would allow them to reinvest it and help the club continue its success. The fans have taken me into their hearts and they will always be in my heart, so I hope they can understand why I want to take up this magnificent opportunity. Maybe the, the best written and most public transfer request I've ever seen. Chelsea have made a £55 million verbal bid, which has been rejected. Arsenal, a £60 million official bid, which has been rejected. Over the course of Friday, going into Saturday, Arsenal Football Club continued to negotiate with Brighton, who publicly states their journalists continue to push this message that the player is not for sale at any cost. However, they are talking to Arsenal. What has also emerged from Sammy McBell, one of the most credible journalists on the planet, that Caicedo's desire is to now move to Arsenal Football Club. This would copy, copied up by this report here from Nico, that Moises Caicedo has officially asked Brighton to, to be sold, which we know, but the Gunners have agreed personal terms for a five-year contract with the midfielder. So two separate claims there. One, that personal terms have been agreed. The other, the personal terms will be no problem because Casado wants to become an Arsenal player. And I think when you read his statement, the element of the most decorated player, there is a feeling that Arsenal are going to win trophies this year. He wants to go and be a part of that. He also on his Instagram account pinned his debut game, which was against Arsenal, to the top of his Instagram page as well, which many see as a bit of a cryptic a clue to where he may be heading. So I first of all want your thoughts on that. The transfer request, telling Arsenal, you are where I want to be. You are my number one priority. And the report that he's agreed personal terms. Now remember, a player can agree personal terms with four or five teams. That doesn't mean he's 100% going to join them. If Chelsea make a big, bigger and better bid that Brighton accept, and Arsenal don't match it, he is likely to join Chelsea. A few days ago, Chelsea was seen as the front runners. Arsenal may publicly in the press be now ahead of them, but it, it, the, the transfer market is, is a difficult one to judge. The, the, the direction may point towards Arsenal, but we've seen with the Mudrik deal that it can go, in the, it can go the other way. And, and that's, that's what I'm saying on this. Uh, Spurs fought, just over a week ago, Spurs fought they were leading the race for Trossard. They had a bid rejected. Trossard was willing to join. Arsenal got involved. Bang, mind was changed overnight. But it does appear Arsenal are the front runners here. You have to make your own minds up on if you think they are or they're not based on all the news you're reading and that we're sharing with you. But personal terms agreed. And Sammy McBell has said 
that that is where his desire is to go. This article here from The Athletic is also interesting. This is a segment from it, but go and read it. It says that Mikel Arteta and Arsenal needed a midfielder they believed was attainable right now. And Moises Caicedo quickly rose to the top of that list. They believe Caicedo has the capacity to be a complement to Thomas Partey, as well as being a potential heir. Now, that's very, very important indeed to understand that they need a replacement for him, but somebody else, you've got Xhaka and Partey that are in, what, 29, 30, going on 30, 31, respectively. And as great as they both are, there needs to be a plan beyond them. And Caicedo is seen as that. And one of the most positive pieces of news here for Arsenal is that this isn't going to impact the Declan Rice pursuit. That's a separate piece of business that will not be impacted by Casado joining. Suddenly, you start to look at the potential depth of this Arsenal squad. Scary. And if Arsenal pull this deal off, Arsenal have just got scarier. They have just got massively scarier if they pull this deal off. I don't think you can get away from it. I, I just don't think you can. Mikel Arteta has also spoken about this deal. He was questioned after the game uh, against Manchester City, where he said that, um, you know, I won't comment until everything is done. He was asked directly about Caicedo's post on Instagram. He was asked for an opinion on this, and he simply stated that he will not comment until everything is done. So you can read into that any which way you want, but for a lot of Arsenal fans, the reaction is, uh, that sounds very much like what he said with Leandro Trossard. So it's intriguing to see what direction this is going in. And I'm going to be honest with you, I see him leaving. I don't buy into the Brighton press and the fans are like, nothing's going to happen. I don't see how this ends with him not leaving now. Because where he ends up, I'm going to come to in a minute. There's no way now of this is what would have happened if he didn't go public, Caicedo. The club, if they couldn't come to an agreement with Chelsea or Arsenal, or you know, or neither, they would have released a statement saying he was never for sale. The player would have released a statement saying he was completely focused on Brighton. He had no desire to leave. He loves the club. He loves the fans. Thank you so much. I'm happy. And everybody at Brighton would have gone, gone on with their lives as normal. That can't now be done. Can't now be done. It can't because Pandora's box has been opened. And all the emotions and all the feelings and the problems that are now going to arise through this public statement will never be undone. They will never be undone. You know, there are still some Man United fans that don't like Wayne Rooney for the transfer request that he made. Some that just still couldn't quite forgive him. And that guy's a club legend, football legend, you know, multiple, 16 trophies he helped Manchester United win. And there's still a feeling of sourness towards him. So his relationship with the fans is now irreparable. His relationship with the club could also follow a similar suit. That's why he's gone public, a, a, a last ditch attempt in the dying days to get this over the line. Now, where does he end up? Arsenal appear, when you look at all of the news, to be the front runners right now. There's articles after articles, tweets and posts after tweets and posts. But Chelsea fans are keeping their eye on this as well. You know, we spoke about this earlier, that Brighton have made it clear to cut with Caicedo that he's, and his new agents, that he's not for sale and nothing's going to happen. And this is a last ditch attempt. But the Chelsea fans are sharing this news as regularly as Arsenal fans. Because they are still in this race. And when it comes to Todd Bowley and Chelsea, they cannot be written off can't be. You can't write them off. The media is saying the personal terms are agreed, but you can agree with multiple teams. This is going to come down to one thing and one thing only, money. Caicedo said, and he, listen, he wants to become the most decorated, uh, decorated player. He said that here in his statement, but the, the sentence before it is far more important. The youngest of 10 siblings, this is a working class man from a poor background that wants to support his family. And if Arsenal offer 80 grand a week and Chelsea offer 40 grand a week, he's going to Arsenal. Uh, he's going to Arsenal. If Chelsea offer 80 grand a week and Arsenal offer 30, 40 grand a week, I think you'll go Chelsea. Because in the medium to long term, he's going to win trophies with both clubs. But this guy wants to secure his family's future and nobody can argue with that. There is no challenge 
to make that to make that wrong. A man supp uh, earning, supporting his family financially, it is the biggest accolade, the biggest achievement that you can ever have have in your life. You know, putting food on the table, clothes on people's backs, shelter over their heads. It is the most rewarding thing you can ever do in your life. Nothing. There is nothing that feels better than that. And I understand it completely. So I'm not going to make a personal prediction on how this is going to go. It seems like Arsenal are leading that race. And the reason I'm not making a prediction is because of Todd B. I don't know what this man's going to do. I don't know what he's going to do. I don't think he knows what he's going to do. Arsenal have got to get this done quickly, in my opinion, if they want, to, if they want him. Get it done and over the line, sharp. Offer him a good contract. Make Brighton an offer that they cannot refuse legally, <laughs> of course, if you, if you get, the, if you get the, uh, the, the quote and the reference. And let's see what happens. But listen, everyone who's tuned in, a big thank you. Make sure like buttons are smashed and you subscribe to The Terrace. Come follow us on TikTok as well. Scan that QR code or click on the link in the description below. Until next time, take care. Goodbye. God bless. And we'll see you all again very, very soon. Thank you.